Hello and welcome to ComScience Simplified. When it comes to JavaScript interviews, undefined versus null is one of the most basic questions which is asked in order to test the candidate's understanding and to get the discussion going. Hence, it is important that you not only answer the question but do it using the keywords that the interviewer is looking for in order to get brownie points. Let's see how that can be done. Undefined value in JavaScript is used to define exactly what the name suggests. If we split the word, we get an un plus defined, in other words, not defined. That means undefined is the value held by variables that are declared but not initialized to an initial value. Also, the value of undefined is always supposed to be assigned by the JS engine. The engine automatically assigns the undefined value for any variable that we forget to initialize. Although it can be explicitly assigned to variables, it is considered to be a bad programming practice. Also, non-existing keys on an object when accessed give the result as undefined. Null, on the other hand, is different from undefined in the sense that it denotes a deliberate empty or a non-existent value instead of a non-initialized one, which is quite similar to the concept of null in other languages like C++ and Java. When an object in JavaScript is assigned the null value, it means that the variable previously pointing to the object will now point to nothing. The value null is always assigned by the programmer whenever there is a need to assign empty values. Also, some methods return null as a result when none of the expected results are found. The variable person is also freed here by assigning it the value null. There are certain keywords that are necessary to be said in order to convince the interviewer that you actually know the concept at hand. For this interview question, while talking about undefined, make sure to say declared, uninitialized, engine assigned. And while talking about null, mention the keywords lack of, empty value, void, user assigned, etc. In addition to that, there are certain caveats associated with null and undefined that are good to keep in mind. For example, the type of null returns object and not null. Some might say it was a bug that exists since the first release of ECMAScript and at this point of time can't be really fixed so as to not break the old legacy code. Also, null triple equals to undefined gives us false as they are both different types. But null double equals to undefined gives true due to type coercion. If you do not know about type coercion, do subscribe to our channel as we are soon planning another video on the topic too. And that's all for today's video. This information should be enough for you to tackle this basic interview question about null and undefined. Do subscribe for other videos to come in the series. Also, leave your suggestions and feedback in the comments section. To share this video with others who might benefit from it. Signing off, see you in the next one. Till then, happy learning.